Welcome. Uh, today I will show you how you can pin or unpin applications from your dock on the Quest 3. Now before I get started I'm going to qu quickly just clarify this. We can't unpin all of them for some idiotic reason. So these three that come pre-pinned into your dock, uh, there's actually four but you can unpin one of them. These three, so Explorer, Store and People, you cannot get rid of. So basically Meta is like you're going to use those apps no matter if you want them or not. Uh, so yeah, but any other application uh, you can pin. So we can go to the library and from here, let's just say you want to pin something like uh, Skybox VR or whatever, maybe some applications. Just click on the three dots that I have right over here and then select pin to universal menu. And you can see it adds in here. And we can also do that for games as well, though we have a limit of uh, four applications, which uh, again would have been nice if I can unpin the garbage that I don't want to use, but we can't. So we have the three apps that are interchanging, uh, depending on what is what was most recently used, and then three apps that you cannot do anything about it, that you probably rarely use, and then two apps that you can actually pin. And that's about it. And additionally, I also want to add to people that might be interested, if uh, you install applications, like uh, Android applications, so for instance, if I go here to all and uh, unknown source apps, so these look absolutely atrocious, right? And you can launch something like Discord, you can see it launches. And uh, we have other things like SideQuest, obviously, uh, the File Explorer and the application that I t tend to use. And you don't have any option to do anything with them, to make them look better, to add them to anywhere else than here. Obviously, Meta is like, you're not going to be using any applications outside of it. So this is them just kind of showing you the middle finger and you're not really being able to do anything about it. Even though this is running on Android and there is basically zero reason for this to be working like this. So, just wanted to point that out. Now, I also want to add as a little bit of an insult to Android. Um, Pico, which also runs on Android like this. Somehow they figured out that if you install third-party applications, APKs, you might want to have them in your default freaking uh, app library. But Meta did not, because Zuck wants all your freaking data. And if it's not downloaded from his store, it ain't gonna be visible or easily accessible. So, um, just kind of wanted to point that out, that in terms of the dock, going back to it, we're only limited to two applications uh, that can pin to it. Hopefully, it will be changed as they tend to roll out updates that make it more accessible or change things that people are hating. And hopefully, this shit will be one of those things that gets changed because I personally don't care about this opening up every single time I also launch the headset, nor do I ever want to use it. Store. I can just access it in here. So a dock that is personalized by Meta is kind of useless dock, um, which, like I said, limited only to two applications, which is a little bit too, too little to call it a dock. Now, anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful in some way. I know it wasn't necessarily probably what you were looking for, and as far as I know, there is no way to remove it. Uh, maybe in the future, if I find some kind of uh, possible ADB command to get rid of this, I'll make a video on it, but as far as I know right now, I, that's basically it. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.